if you woke. Hey, 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 how y'all doing tonight? How y'all doing? What is this? Oh, it's nasty. Oh, I don't like that. How y'all doing? I'm about to juice for dinner tonight. But these things nasty. I picked up a whole kind, kind of fruit. But I never ate this here before. Oh my God. It's horrible. It's called Golden Berries. My God today. I don't want, I don't want this on it, but it's really, really tangy. It got a lot of seeds in it. I never tried this before. It's supposed to be from Colombia, but I will never pick these up no more, ever again. Hey, 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 how y'all doing tonight? I'm about to juice. I realized that my butt, oh, I get to use my new chopping board. That my butt didn't eat today. I was so busy. I get to use my chopping board for the first time. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I was so busy that I didn't eat. So I'm about to do a juice right quick and that's gonna be my dinner. Cause I was full of energy. Boy, I tell you one thing. Love will fill you up and you forget you didn't even eat. <laughs> Who woke out there, y'all? Y'all just looking. I want to do a little juice tonight for my dinner before I could relax. How y'all doing? I see y'all out there. Y'all ain't saying nothing tonight. Hey, Sandra. Hey, Sh Cherry up in there. Hey, Queen. Hey, Justice. Hey, User 88. Oh, nine. Hey, Shamika, Orlando. How y'all doing? Y'all had a good day today? Y'all worked out today? Y'all manifested anything today? One of my supporters bought me this juicer and I love it so much. So I go to the store and I just buy all kind of fruit and blend it in and make little recipes, so to speak. These are pumped. Now, I done ate a pump before. But these things right here. Hey, Cherry. Hey, Shamika. Good night. These things right here, golden berries, they nasty. I might put two in there to say that I ate some of them before I throw the whole container away. But, oh, my God. It's horrible. Y'all ever had golden berries before? It's tart, 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 tart. Oh my goodness, they are so tart. But today I'm about to juice some plums, something I know. I call myself trying to experience with them golden berries. Some plums, some blueberries, some figs. If they have any men out there, figs are good for that prostate. Anytime you find a fruit like that with all of those little tiny seeds, it's really good for the prostate. Whatever is good for the lymphatic system, it's really good for prostate and ovarian type issues with women too. Yeah. What she said? What she said? What are you making for me? I ain't making nothing for you, Dre. <laughs> Dre, I ain't making nothing for you because you left my live earlier. You ain't even tell me bye. <laughs> mm -mm, we beeping, Dre. Nope. And of course berries, all oh, berries are really good for you, for your body. How you doing? I had a fantastic day. Oh good, Shamika, I'm happy for you. And so um, that's perfect, God, I like that. And so I rinse myself off with food grade hydrogen peroxide and a little bit of water. Not boxy water though. My thing ain't shooting out like it should. But yeah, a little bit of spring water. I'm going to just use this here for my bottle since I was using it already. And that's what I rinsed my stuff off with. Y'all, I don't know if y'all use faucet water, but that's just something that I do. 
inserting toilet water, and let it sit up in there a little bit. Blue gray hydrogen peroxide, that's it, and water. And I let my fruits rinse off like that. And they had some figs. They had different kind of figs at the store today. You always beef with me, y'all. Yeah? <laughs> I like it. You know it's love, Trey. You know it's love. Hey, hey, Ashley, how you doing tonight? Ashley Nicole, Nubian goddess. Nubian goddess, you still up? Look, they had tiger figs and then they had sweet figs. Now, both of these are good for like women and men. You know, fruit tell you kind of like, it'll show you based upon color. Y'all know I'm into this here. Health and wellness. I wrote a whole book about it. I didn't really mean to talk about this here, but it's just in me, y'all. Y'all just got to hear it because it's in there and it's going to come out. <laughs> so just listen. <laughs> so anyway, so figs, any kind of figs with those seeds inside that. Just think about it. Through talking to you, it's telling you like men, like that's your seed. It's almost like this is an, an, um, a ball, you know, and your little children. You little children inside there with all of them. See, that's all the little children you could make. Only one gonna get in. <laughs> <laughs> Only one gonna get in. Sometimes more than one child come in, you know? You have them triplets and stuff. Anyway, that's how I look at it. <laughs> I just ate some face today off the tree. You did, Amanda. See that? I'm perfect, Nubian. I was headed to bed, but I saw you alive. Yeah, I'm not going to be here long, man. I just was, I just wanted some juice because I ain't eat today. I've been selling stuff. Look at the inside of that, all them children. All them children want to play. Now, you know what, with this one here, I'm going to just put this one in here like this here and count it all blessed. But I'm going to take that little tip off of that. We're going to have some tiger figs. I never had these before. But we gonna let me let me taste this before I put the wing up in there. Okay, it tastes like the regular figs. Okay, so this only my drink, so I could eat it and <laughs> and put it in there because it's all for me. So I'm just taking those tips off of there. So we got tiger fig, we got plum, we got some strawberries. My strawberries are frozen. So I was letting them rinse because I had strawberries last time. Let's see. Strawberries are always good for my smoothies. Y'all be juicing sometime? Or them babies? Yeah, that's a lot of babies. Huh? Yes, ma'am. They send me mixed signals. Really? They're good, then not. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, well. Yeah, just like, I guess the opposite sex sometimes. Huh? Sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. <laughs> Same thing, all them children in there, you know. Sometimes you feel like love making and making babies. You get to a season in your journey sometimes, but you're saying, boy, bye. Nobody want no children. I want my peace. Give me my peace. Oh, I forgot. I have some blackberries we're gonna put some blackberries up in there too like i said these things here anybody ever tried this golden berries golden berries nasty but i spend my money on it and before i throw the whole thing away i'm gonna put three in there yeah three the holy trinity how about that my mama be so proud in the name of the father the son and the holy god yeah and so we're going to do the same thing with the blackberries. Yeah, we got to rinse these off because they're too soft. Like, if it's real, real soft, I like to rinse it off with some hydrogen peroxide. I don't juice, but I smoothie. these. Oh, okay. Well, I juice so that I could drink the juice in the evening. And then in the morning, I eat the pulp for my breakfast. But today, I didn't have no breakfast. I ain't have nothing. I had one cookie today. And I was up in the gym. I was doing the ultimate conditioning class. 
full body workout. And when I when I went down like this, here, I was like, oh, I didn't even eat today. <laughs> that's when it hit me. I mean, that's when it hit me because I was up early this morning doing orders for my new products. I had got so excited and sometimes boy that love, that love energy just gets you so excited, be making you feel good. You be like, food. You know, because I love what I do. I love my product. I love making it. I turn the radio on to music and I forget that the that I'm in the matrix. <laughs> like what? The matrix? Oh, they, they got people out here in the physical reality. <laughs> they got food. I'm supposed to eat. Oh, let me get my mind right. What? That's what love will do. Love heals all. Love filled my stomach today. Let's see. What time is it where you are? Oh, nice. Will you put in the pole? Oh, I put a little agave on top of the pole. And maybe a little pizza pink Himalaya sea salt. What time is it here? It's only 849 here. It's 849. What is it, like 10 o'clock by y'all? All right. So I'm going to put... Can y'all see my juicer? Let me turn it off. Oh, there you go. Can you see? Okay, you can see. What's that spray? The spray, right? It's food grade hydrogen peroxide. I put that on my fruit. Yeah. All right, let me do some of this here. Yes, ma'am. Oh, is it 11.49 out there, Trey? Oh, man. Let me see. One second. Let me see. That's because my strawberry is frozen. Wait. your muscles oh hey Zachary what I'm flexing my muscles for midnight and it's midnight in Ohio already new oh you New York time my muscles boy look at that boy boy look at me I got a little potential I've been working out y'all I ain't really worried about my arms at all but see when I get that cut that definition in my leg oh my god y'all gonna be like please put some clothes on and I'm be like nope Nope, I'm strictly wearing mini skirts because they're gonna see these legs. I won't see these legs. I ain't trying to do it for nobody else to see. I won't see these legs. Boy, when I be walking, I'm gonna be looking in all of the mirrors. Like, yeah, I did this. I created this. Yes, I did. They're lucky I don't work in Corporate America no more because I sure will be going up in there with mini skirts on. Like, yo, look at my legs. Oh my god. <laughs> some cantaloupe. Maybe the cantaloupe will give me more food. What else I have up in here? I got some grapes, but I'm not putting grapes in here. I might have to put some liquid mango juice or something because I need some more. Why are these things being tangy with me? I'm putting a lot in here. You saw the muscles that correct? I mean, now you know how you let's see. Look like, wait, what? Something jump. Look. Look like hey not gone. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> hey not gone. <laughs> that sounded so country reading if that's how you're saying it. Hey not gone. You know, like that. That's how you go. Now where are you from, uh, Amanda? Amanda Joy, are you from the country? Cantaloupe time because I need some more juice. What else I got? I ain't putting them things up in there. I'm gonna do some cantaloupe. A little bit of cantaloupe. Uh oh, this knife too sharp. I'm gonna give me another one. It's too sharp. She said, hey, 
you're not gone. Let me see. Man, love your energy. Oh, thank you, user four six eight. You got bigger muscles than me. Oh my God, please, Zachary, don't you say that to me? Don't you say that to me? That is not what I'm aiming for at all. Let me move this. This thing's sliding. I ain't trying to be bigger than no guy. Of course not. Don't you say that kind of stuff. I'm just trying to stay in shape and define my muscles. That's it. Because actually, I say that because in my mind, I already know that I have like that kind of body where it's easy for me to gain muscle. And I really don't want to be like masculine looking like at all. But I'm going to get these these legs. I don't care. I'm going to get these legs. These legs will be right. And then I'll be like, I knew I could do it. Because I could do anything. Because I can do anything that I put my mind to. That's what I'm going to say. It's like, I told y'all. Look at me. I'm, I'm ripped. <laughs> in my own ripped kind of way. I'm ripped in my legs. Because I told my legs to grow. And it did it. It's really be about the journey more than anything. Because I know I could do anything. Okay, so this is going to be the last thing. It's gonna be enough. It's just gonna do it. Regardless, that's all I'm gonna eat. Alright, this is dinner. Wait, let me get a straw. This is gonna be dinner. I hope it's good. Because it is what it is. That's all I'm putting in there tonight. And that's all I'm putting in there tonight. Let's say, here it says, Man, I love your energy. I read that. You got bigger muscles than me. Yes, guys. Can you lift 150 pounds? Um, I don't on purpose try to go that high. I don't really know, to be honest with you. I ain't trying to do that. I'll be having, um, I know the 245s ain't all the way up to no 150. I've had 245 weights when I'm doing my arms on each side but I ain't trying to go to no 150 what I gotta do all that for <laughs> I don't want to do that kind of stuff maybe if I'm with a guy they'll push me to do all of that but on my own no I ain't trying to do all that mostly I'm trying to do it mentally yeah I see it I was checking out the arm. You saw the arms? On one of my videos, I did it on purpose to kind of, I was sitting down and I was actually doing my legs. And when I was holding to the top, you could see my muscles. I had to send that one to my oldest son because he's trying to be a fitness trainer, an instructor or whatever. And I was like, whoa, if you get a client that look like this, it's over. <laughs> it's over talking about my body. <laughs> Yes. Oh, you do talk like that, uh, Amanda. That's funny. I'm more... Wait a minute. Let me see. I'm waiting to see the legs. I know, right? Me too. I have mixed water with my... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I can't wait to see the legs either, Dre. Well, when you see when you see me coming on a video like this here, you know it's leg day. <laughs> It's going to be leg time when I start my videos like that. And then I start talking. Like, I, I'm going to be saying something really inspirational, but I'm going to have to kick the leg out to get in the video. <laughs> That's how I'm going to be cutting up. Legs first, baby. you going to see these legs that I've been working on for. Mm -hmm. Judge your mama. <laughs> this came out to be really good, though. I like it. I know, right? Damn, 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 the legs, yeah. <laughs> That's too funny. Where it is that Melon said, here, baby. Yeah, Joe did. <laughs> I can swap 150. You can? I never tried that. Now y'all gonna make me be paying attention to the numbers, but I like to stay focused on being connected with my, my muscles and stuff, like telling it what I want to do. I like to go in and, you know, mentally be there see my body already where it, i want it to be but not tomorrow y'all gonna have me thinking about the um the weight and i'm gonna go see <laughs> and i'm gonna wonder if i can do it now 
Because it sounds like a nice little challenge, like, right? I'm so serious. Yeah. I'm so serious. It sounds like a challenge. I'm going to see. See if I can do it. Because I believe I can do anything. But yeah. This is really good. I'm going to be all legs, all day. All legs, all day. But I'm so thankful for y'all. Today I had a beautiful day packing orders. People were sending me love and support my my um, new products that I just put out today. My natural deodorant and my BPH balance um, powder is selling really, really good already. And I just uploaded it on the site at four o'clock this morning. So that's what I was doing all morning, just listening to me, all day rather, listening to music, sending out orders, just sending out love, sending out my overflow. Man, I, I, I kid you not, y'all. I come here really, I'm a really introverted person. And, and like my mom is like, t tells me, she's like, I'm so proud of you. You finally opened up, I see you and stuff. And so I'm not here to be braggadocious about anything, but I'm opening up because I feel in my life right now that I'm overflowing with love. And I believe that once you're overflowing with love, if you share your overflow with other people, then that energy is transfor transformed to them. And even with my products, I look at it like this here, when I'm sending things out, it's like I'm sending love to this house. Yeah, they ask for, maybe they ask for lotion, maybe they ask for shampoo, the order or whatever. But in my mind, really, since all things are energy, really how I look at it is this is an opportunity to send them love. That's really what they get in the mailbox. They get in my energy, my love, my overflow. And it feels so good to be in a position to help people like that. And that, this is, and I share it so you one day, when you get to your purpose, your passion, and you get an alignment with that, it's going to feel good every moment of your day. You're going to forget things like eating. You're going to be up at what, what 9 o'clock at night here, but 11 in my home state, 11 p.m., you're going to be up saying, oh my God, I didn't even eat it. It didn't even feel like it. How did the day go by so fast? Time flies when you're having fun. Time flies when you're in alignment. And it feels so good to be able to touch people. Not a moment during this day that I sat down and said, man, I'm tired, I'm hungry, I'm this, I'm that. No, because I'm on my overflow level, man. You got to get to this here level. And so many times I, I listen to people, you know, that inspire me. Like um, Billy Car Carson and Lisa Nichols, and they always said how you felt really mattered. Just get an alignment with your passion, and then get an alignment, and then alignment, and then because alignment opens up all kind of doors for you. You just feel good. You be up all night. Like I went to bed at four in the morning, and I wasn't sleep deprived. When I was not in alignment, and I was going to corporate America, man, going to bed at four in the morning, and then having to get up right at six o'clock. It was like, man, it was like me dreading to do that. But now, going to bed at four and still waking up at six is like, okay, okay, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. Man, it's like you, you just recharge over this overflow of energy that just comes from source that allows you to be able to do, be, or have anything at any given moment that you need it because you are, are in alignment and then man it's just so beautiful it's so beautiful this is why i share not to be braggadocious with nobody but i want you to do it too find your passion baby and then because oh everything just gonna work out for you you gonna get all of these innovative ideas you gonna milk it you're gonna love it people gonna be drawn to you it's gonna grow real real fast you know your gift is gonna make so much room for you it's a beautiful place to be in life but in order to get to that place, you got to abide by that law of assumption right now. This is how I am in this place right here because I abide by that law. If you love me, this is what the biblical text is telling you. If you love me, keep my commandment. Be in alignment. <laughs> love the Lord thou God with all your heart. Meaning love yourself. Love your neighbor. See them as you see yourself. See them through the eyes of God. Operate in alignment is what the biblical text was teaching us. <laughs> Don't walk around and, and see the lame man. See him whole already. Don't walk around and see that you still have to work. No, live in the end of the wish fulfilled. And all of 
these things because you lift yourself up so much, because you love yourself so much, so that you manipulated the energy, all those things that you desire shall be added unto you. It takes this here kind of work. This here kind of work, I promise you, I want you to get that. If you don't get nothing else that I ever tell you, get this damn thing because it is so easy when you put your mind to it. And I want to see you prosper. I want to hear your story. I want you to even be greater than me. Because a true leader don't want, don't like you just be, when you get to their level. And then they, 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 then they resent you telling you the information. Hell no. I want you to be greater than me. So that I can look, so you can tell me your story and I can look at you and say, like, wow, you listened. You listened and you learned and you grew because of me. That's what I want. That's all that I want to be able to say, wow, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud that I left an impact on your life to do greater things with your journey. I'm so proud that I was able to be in a position to inspire you. That's all that I want. Because when you move, I move energetically anyway. Even if you don't circle back to tell me, I still feel it because we're energy, frequency, and vibration. And it just gets me on a journey to want more expansion. Because the universe, your universe in its totality begins to expand. Because source, it gets greater and greater. And you and I, we become more powerful and powerful ever after every experience after every lifetime <laughs> yeah i'm sorry i don't know where that came from i was uh, i just had to get that out i guess it came from the abundance of the heart huh <laughs> oh thank you for being you i had a rough night and you literally just helped me transform my energy yeah i told you this before but i feel like you used to be my auntie oh amanda yeah, I'm pretty sure. We've been doing this stuff for eons. I'm pretty sure. Maybe I was your auntie. Maybe I was your grandma. Your cousin. Your best friend. Your male lady. Something. Probably even in another life. A male man. <laughs> because cause we go through these cycles. Yin and yang. Yeah. Um, look, Nubian said me too. Yeah. The ar arch Oh, okay. The archetype. Oh, hey, Emmanuel. Thank you for being here. Hey, Sheila, thank y'all for being here. Y'all, they got a good bit of people to say it's late. But yeah, that was just my little preaching spiel for the moment. But yeah, I want y'all to go, each and every last one of y'all. Don't you dare bring your ass over here just looking at me and not doing the stuff that I'm telling you. Take what's good, what you say yay and amen to, and apply this thing to your physical reality. Because if I can do it, you can do it. Greater works can you do. Just like how Jesus was telling in the allegory text, the disciples, greater works shall you do. <laughs> and you, you, this generation is the multitude, so to speak, that's going to do them greater works. Yeah, so get to working. Get to working up in here. Thought by thought by thought by thought. Mm-hmm. So anyway... I just came on and I wanted y'all to have dinner with me. I feel so thankful that y'all came. Um, and the takeaway from this here drink is that golden berries are very tart. And if I see them in the store again, I'm going to have to, I mean, I know all is God. But if I see these in the store again, I'm going to just ignore this part of myself and not buy them ever again. Because <laughs> they was nasty. I put three of them up in there, but they're so bitter. But everything else was good. So my figs was delicious. Strawberry, blackberry, cantaloupe, of course, my plums. Everything else was perfect. I just don't have a taste for the golden berries. <laughs> so anyway, I'm about to go finish my dinner and go relax and prepare for my tomorrow. And my orders tomorrow and waking up on another day doing what i love to do the most in my consultations i got consultations tomorrow if y'all need a consultation check out my website i got consultations tomorrow too man this is this is this is really the life when you really you really winning when you do what you love it's so important oh let me tell you this here like last night 
you know, I, I saw this little boy. I want to end this with this little story. It ain't gonna be long. So I saw this little boy that said, um, he was, well, he didn't say anything. He was smiling, rather. He was on an aisle in Walgreens late last night. He was on an aisle by himself, right? And I got the item that I needed, and I was walking toward him, and he, he was so excited about this toy that was in his hand. And he's like, smiling and looking down at him. And I said, I think that toy is perfect for you. And he looked his, his, um, his head up, he looked his head up at me and he was smiling. And I said, I think you deserve that toy because you are so worthy. You are so perfect. Just look at you. I said, you're gonna get it, huh? You're gonna get it, huh? He's like, yep, this is the one. I'm gonna get it. Cause guess what? I was good in school. I was good in class. And I did all of my work and I listened and I paid attention. And I told the little boy, because in my mind, you know, we, you know, you think about the program of zero to seven, how little children absorb all kind of stumbling blocks, this limited way of thinking, like, right? So I was trying to get him to think unlimited. And I told him, I said, but you know what? Even if you weren't good in school, I still think you're worthy. I still think you deserve a toy. What do you think about that? And he looked around, he was like, he was looking as almost to say, you better not let my mama hear that. <laughs> you know? And so I was like, I'm serious. You're worthy, you're perfect. I think you are worth, worthy of anything that you want in life. I think you could be, do, or have anything that you put your mind to. I think you're powerful. He was like, yeah. Yeah, he like in, in so many words, if he, if he could have expressed himself, he would have been like, I've been trying to tell these people this, like, right? He was so excited about what I was saying, and then I was about to tell the little boy that he was God, and I was like, wait, let me slow down, because um, I think I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. This is somebody else's child, like, right? And the parent was nowhere to be found. So anyway, I was like, you get that toy, and you just have to best time with it you have fun you use your imagination to explore don't you ever stop using your imagination okay because you can do anything he's like okay okay because children are so easy to like penetrate through because they're so subconscious mind like right and i was walking away from him and i looked back and this little boy he had some kind of little Power Ranger type toy, whatever. He was like on the aisle, pretending instantly in his human imagination, soaking up the moment. He didn't even buy the toy. Mama didn't even say yes to the toy yet, but he was living in the end already in his human imagination. And knowing what I know now, I was just like, oh my God, this is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. This is what it's saying. Come as a child. Come as a child, <laughs> come as a child, think like that. Stop thinking so limited, stop. Just stop it and come as a child and be ready to explore, ready to just get into that imagination, ready to soar, ready to, ready to be happy and stop giving your children, if you have children, stop giving your children these stumbling blocks because they came in physical form knowing that they can be, do, and have everything. They know they're God. And you as the parent, oh, because I said so. Because you as the parent been programmed to say no and to stop them. Stop giving them so much. Be easy on them. Be easy on them. They're you before you absorb your program. Be easy on them. They're infinite intelligence. Be easy on them because life is supposed to be easy. It ain't supposed to be long suffering. It ain't supposed to be limited. It ain't supposed to be the stumbling block. We ain't supposed to be getting sick. We ain't supposed to be tired. No, that's ass backwards. We came him here in the physical form to be God. <laughs> and God is none of those things. So remember that with them children. Remember that with them children, you the big old ass of dog that want to whoop them, that want to punish them, that want to tell them that they slow. No, they are more tapped in than we give those children credit for. 
They just trying to fit in the program. They just trying to conform to the ways of the adult who think they got it all figured out. If you're a real adult that know how to humble yourself and know how to open up your heart to your children or to the little people in your life that you love, you will sit there and you'll talk to them, you'll get on that level and you will let them know, I don't even have to figure it out my darn self. I'm doing this one day at a time. You will, you will humble yourself enough to realize and face that truth because you don't. Because I don't, because we don't, because God always is expanding and getting greater and greater. So the things that you don't know, Mr. and Mrs. Adult, is enough information to create other realities, other dimensions. But you want to know it all. You want to know so much because I said so. You want to step, step into ego because I'm the parent here. You want to get the belt because I'm going to whoop your ass. I'm going to whoop you into being in my alarm, alignment. I'm going to whoop you into conforming to me. I'm going to punish you. I'm going to spank you. I'm going to do this and that and the other to you until you do what I want you to do. We have that part of life as parents screwed up. And we need to right those wrongs with these children because these children that's coming forth are your ancestors reincarnated. And some of them ain't having it from your ass. Some of them will pack up their stuff and leave your ass, leave your house. Some of them will rebel so much that they will run away from your ass because they already have their internal GPS system. They already have their guidance, their higher self. And now here you are with your guidance who's supposed to be talking to you and you only trying to force them to do something that's not in alignment with themselves. So be easy on them. Be I say be easy on them because really what's happening is you being easy on you, baby. Because life happens through you and everybody you're experiencing, even those little babies, that's you. That's your reflection. <laughs> that's the essence of you reincarnated again so be easy on yourself since yourself then came back in another form trying to get a better version of itself Della. be easy on yourself be easy on yourself I wouldn't leave you with that be easy on yourself don't punish yourself so much don't beat yourself so much don't whoop yourself so much be easy on yourself that's what I want you to remember okay <laughs> I'm about to get off of here because I, I'll be on here all night preaching from the heart all night long all night love speaks hey that is so true we don't have to work for love no we don't we don't we don't because in the meantime in between time what the adults really be doing we be teaching these children this unconditional stuff this is where all this unconditional love and this unconditional feeling of worthy comes in at. And so then when you're grown and you, you don't have a job, you don't feel worthy no more. You know, because it's supposed to, it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be able to flow to me and I don't have it, something must be wrong. You know, if I'm overweight, I ain't worthy no more. Because when I was a little boy, a little girl, I had to do this or else. This is what you teach them that when you do that, if you don't do this, else this if you don't make an a if you don't pass else this man guess what i was a straight a student i was a straight a student in school i was you know why all because i thought it would bring daddy back home yeah and after doing it for so long i was like well, hell daddy didn't remarried i'm about to stop this stuff and i'm just gonna get by I'm just going to get by. I'm going to just be a BC student. I stopped it. And guess what? The degree and all that I got from going to college and all that, I ain't even using that crap. You want to buy it? I'll sell it to you for half off. Yeah, we could just we could just white out my name and I will type your name in monotype cursive because it don't mean nothing to me. But yet you spend your time being hard on your children. Some of y'all so hard on your children. Some of y'all children I talked to before. <laughs> Some of y'all children I talked to before. They have so many children in the physical reality that will call me. Damn, they're suicidal. Hating their life already. It's so much of pressure on these children. We gotta, we gotta consciously remember to be conscious of that. 
of the pressure you're putting on your children, of, of how that divorce is affecting your children, of how that child being overweight is affecting them, of how that child when they go to school and nobody wants to be a friend is affecting them, how social media is affecting them, <laughs> how the fact that you're not in alignment with your passion and you had a shitty job that you don't like, so when you come home you have an attitude, how that is affecting them. <laughs> Yeah, that part too. Because you're not walking in your purpose and you're not overflowing with love for them and attention for them and excitement around them. Oh, how that is affecting them. Because you're a late bloomer on relationships. <laughs> how that's affecting them. And because you're getting your heart still broken at 50, 60, 70, 70, 80 years old, still never figured out this thing called love, which truly it starts with self. You still never figured that out. How that's affecting them. <laughs> because if you can't love yourself, you darn sure can't love them. So we, we gotta do better with these children, these precious children from zero to seven that have their subconscious mind wide open. That's downloading all of your so-called issues that you should be over by now, God. <laughs> when is your kingdom gonna come? God, is it not gonna be this lifetime? God, when are you gonna rise from the dead, Lazarus? When are you gonna come forth? It's time, it's time, be easy on them children. I don't know who needed to hear that, but sure, sure God knows that I didn't wanna talk about children here. I wanted to just eat and, and go take a bath and go to bed, but somebody needed to hear that. Be easy on them children. Be easy on them. Be easy on them. And be easy on yourself while you're being easy on them. You got to start to be easy on yourself first. Because you can't give them ease if you don't have no ease inside for yourself. So be easy with yourself. Spend time pampering yourself. Love on yourself. Appreciate yourself. Hold yourself. How about you do that first? Hold yourself and tell yourself that everything is okay. Tell the little boy or the little girl inside of you, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I, I got you. I'm the love that you were looking for. It's okay. Yeah, it, it, it's okay. We may have made a, a couple of mistakes, but, but really and truly, we never get this thing called life wrong. It's okay. I love you unconditionally. It's okay. I know, I know, I know you didn't know any better. You were just a little girl. You were just a little boy. I want you to know that it's okay. I love you unconditionally. I love you even when you mess up. Because you never really mess up because we never gonna get it wrong. You always gonna have me. And you know what? You can trust me. Because we're gonna be best friends forever. And I will never ever leave you. I feel so proud of you. Look at you, how you've grown. From the little girl or the little boy that you once were. The little knucklehead. <laughs> the little clumsy little somebody. Oh, I even loved you when you knew no naughty. Now you have me. And trust and believe that knowing me is going to lead you to knowing everything. Because you and I together, we're going to figure this thing called life out. We're going to figure it out. And as we figure out our path, we're going to be easy on all of our reflections. Because they're on the same type of journey too. Yeah, we're going to be easy starting with us. The relationship that I have with you, best friends forever. Lifetime after lifetime, dimension after dimension, we can always have each other. And the experiences that we have with one another. So we might as well get together and, and, and like on each other, one another. Right now, we might as well like one another now. Do you like me? Do you love me? I love you. I appreciate you. I, I like you. I see greatness in you. I see God in you. Here's the thing. From now on, I'm going to start looking at you through the eyes of God, so, so I'll be more easy on you. From now on, I promise, I promise that we'll have fun. From now on, I want to see us both evolve. From now on, we're going to laugh. Yeah. We're going to sometimes laugh at ourselves. 
And even if we have to cry, we can cry together. And I'm not going to go to sleep until I know that everything is okay with you. Is that a deal? Is that a deal? Because for what I'm learning in this journey, how I feel matters. So I might as well start with the younger version of myself. I might as well talk to this little girl or to this little boy. And let this little boy know that father or no father, we got each other. Father or no father, man, I'm proud of you. Man, you are, you are strength, you are power, you are wisdom. Look at you, defy all the odds and still stand it. To the little girl, I am beauty, I am grace. I am femininity. I am consciousness, I am subconscious, I am spirit. And look at us, still standing and evolving. And sometimes it take that type of conversation with yourselves <laughs> to get to really know yourself. So the little girl, little boy would be like, oh, oh, she went in and now she's really talking to us. She went in and she's getting to know thyself, finally. I'm so happy that she's not trying to get to know another guy. I'm so happy she's not trying to worry about what her boss say, what her mama say, what the lawyer say, what the doctor say. Finally, she brought it in and she cared about the way she feels and what she say. And that's the beginning of mending that relationship. So now you can mean all the other relationships with the little children and the little girls and the, and the, and the man and the woman in your life. But it first got to start in here. Because what you need the most is your love. You need this here the most. I don't give a damn how fine he is or how sexy she is. You need your love first. How about you bring it on in first, buddy? Bring it on into the kingdom first. And then give everybody out here that overflow. Okay? Oh, that was good, y'all. Let me see what y'all saying. And I'm about to get up out of here. I didn't say that about three times, but this time I'm serious. Let's see. We don't have to work for love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just energetically gave me a hug with your words. I seriously felt like that. Yeah. He would have remembered you for the rest of his life. I'm pretty sure he will. I'm sure he will with his little sweet self. I just said that to my twin yesterday. Yeah. That's beautiful. Had you told him. Oh, Lord. Them comments chomped. Wait, let me go back up. Uh, had you told him he was God, oh my goodness, I know I really wanted to tell him, but I didn't want his mom to like come in around the corner or something, you know. <laughs> Boy, he would have been boundless. He would have been jumping all over the place, huh? Hey, y'all, just here until I'm ready. Oh, you just passing through this being so? Thank you for being here. I appreciate you, goddess. I appreciate you too, Ashley. Today, I ask God how to handle my babies outside of ego, and I'm always here to be gentle with them. Baby! Amanda, this, you must be the reason why I'm talking about this here. Yeah, you confirmed it for me. Yeah, babe. And I don't know why I went on that little tantrum. Ashley, <laughs> yeah, 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 okay. Your voice soothes me. Hey, AK. Well, that's beautiful. I'm glad it does. Let's see. Okay, that's a deal. Okay, good. That's a good deal. Thank you for this message. Your illustrations, beautiful. I needed this. Yeah, beautiful. Sunshine, that's my sunshine. Sweet dreams, everyone. Until next time. Yeah, thank you for being here, Miss Being So. All right, is that everybody need this? Perfect, perfect. The chills I just had, perfect. I'm having a low vibrational day, and just realize it seems from lack of self love. <gasps> it does. Everything really does. Everything really does. I'm so happy that y'all was here. I'm so happy I pressed the button because I was just gonna make my little juice and go my little self to bed. I'm so happy I decided to have dinner with you all. Thank you for being here. Thank you, because that message needed to come forward to those people that were ready to hear it. Until next time, baby, this video was from my heart to yours. Y'all be blessed. Have a beautiful day. Love yourself, God. Your kingdom depends upon your love for yourself. Be blessed. Good night. Oh, that was beautiful.